Welcome to Perfectly Imperfect Miss Aviation Divination. So I had my walk, and I generally walk long enough to exhaust the physical being, and then I don't want to walk back. So I sat down at this church parking lot. <laughs> Even though I don't attend church regularly for self, I do know that in America, churches are to be claimed as sanctuaries, which is a lie because they're not open 24 hours a day and you cannot refuge there if you are homeless or sick, right? But it's the title that they got, right? So I sit here to gather myself before I commute because I'm not walking back. And as I was walking, I ran into a stranger, a perfect stranger, and we had a conversation and he said something along these lines. And this is a lot of the things that I bring to you into action and testimonials. So perfectly imperfect Miss Aviation Divination. When I go on my walks for exercise or meditation, there's no makeup. So you can see my marks of my skin being tainted, uh, you know, my battle wounds. And he was complimenting my physical appearance, which, thank you, but I really, when I tell you I'm conceited, I don't need exterior, but I, I appreciate it. He says, you a sexy little gangster. I said, thank you, I am sexified, but what makes you say that I'm gangster? He said, cause my battle wounds, but he didn't call them that, he said, just scars. And I said, thank you. And uh, he said, if you ain't got no scars on your face, you ain't from the hood. And I don't think that's necessarily true because a lot of people get scars through misfortune, you know, not because they had the balls to do something that was actually daring. Um, so I have been uh, known to be a risk taker and the proof is in the pudding. So. I took the compliment, but I also am now sitting and meditating. People have a lot of perspectives on who we are and the way we appear. And we can't control that because that's based on what they know. So I laugh because only I know how truly sexified and gangster. I can be, but the fact that a perfect stranger claims it and then says it to you, it's kind of like, where the fuck you get that from? And the facts that he spoke on, I can't deny. I can't deny my scars. I can't deny my body. I find it funny, but I also don't agree with his analogy because real gangsters don't say that shit. I learned that from my father. I learned a lot of good things from a bad man. See what I'm saying? And that doesn't make him a bad person. He just did bad things. I have the clarity of that. I know that good people do bad things. Not always with good intentions or bad intentions, but they do them, period. I'm just grateful and thankful for the knowledge. For the ability to see beyond the labels and for the strength and the will to be able to share with you all that I am and what, what we are capable of, which is greatness. Beyond the labels, beyond the stigmas, beyond the stereotypes, all of us are capable, able. Are you willing? That, my friend, is individual. You're welcome.